screen yes 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 okay is my audio okay now yes very good okay thank you uh thank you kavita for uh, showing the trap tubes uh, uh, advantages but i'll just share uh, so this is just a disclaimer the image of the opponent and the ro lab are just dramatized only for the debate purposes and not for any other personal grounds so this is my beautiful opponent with all the jewelries and i don't think any other space is left over for it to use any more jewelry but still she managed to have one more from the ro lab there's a bas marked one you can see from the earrings so this is the new device which she was just talking about so what do you really expect when you do the glaucoma surgery one is the intraocular pressure control then of course the long term outcomes is very essential to understand how it really works and the ease of doing surgery is extremely important the learning curve is again important just looking at the other things she was just talking about the us economy but what we need is the indian economy how it is really so and then looking at the repeatability of the procedure is extremely important looking at the number of publications there are uh, infinite number of publications from the trap group and then of course once you see the tube group only there are two publications comparing the primary tube versus the primary trap and i think all of us know that how many of us really do as a primary tubes in our uh, surgeries so yes kavita was mentioning about i am also going to talk about the same uh, primary tube versus trap uh, surgery at the end of uh, one year and three years and there is another one more study in the acta of thermologica which is comparing the bevel with the trap that is at the end of five years this is in fact a refractory glaucoma study so just look at the iop drop those she was mentioning about the comparisons at the end of one month of course we don't expect uh, much of a difference in the iop drop in the tube group but the trap is obviously is much better at the end of one month and of course you see at six months again there's a significant difference of about close to 2 mm and also at the end of one year there is another uh, two, uh, around 1.5 to 2 mm close to that and at the end of 3 years again you can see close to 2 mm of difference we all know that every millimeter matters a lot especially when you have advanced glaucoma every millimeter makes a change of 10% risk reduction just looking at the ptvt study at the end of 3 years there is a change at least about a close to 2 mm difference that is very important for us to understand this is the other study which i showed as the act of thermologica at the end of 5 years we can see that the intraocular pressure control is almost same in both the groups in fact the survival rate as well but just look at this data how many agms the patient really requires at the end of the 5 years there's a significant difference in the requirement of agm in the uh, in the bevel group there is about close to 1.5 to 2 mili- uh, 2 medications is the additional requirement which we really uh, need to uh, put the patient on looking at the post operative interventions there is no significant difference between the two groups the tube versus trap study but as kavisa was mentioning about the serious complications i am not sure what kind of a surgeons uh, was involved in the other group how many of us have really had seen that so much of complication in in our own context i don't think we have so much of complications but in fact we have seen more complications with the tube in reality though this is a very well matched study in us group but in indian scenario i don't think we have so much complications in trap in comparison to the tube so just look at the ease of doing surgery and the learning curve it takes about 15 minutes to do the 15 to 20 minutes to do the trap surgery versus 60 minutes close to one hour if you have five cases in a day you are you are almost dead you cannot go to the op and see any more patients in your opd so the whole day is over for you with three or four cases and even in experienced hands there is a very very steep learning curve when you want to do the uh, tube surgeries looking at the economics for the patient probably for kavita as fine she can have more jewelries in her but looking at the patient's uh, perspective at least two to three times the more cost per surgery and if you want to really repeat the procedure i don't think you can do uh, two or three 
in a in a, a tube surgeries of course in, in traps at least you can do minimum of two repeat procedures uh, i don't think this is really a judgment day it is already been decided there is no need to go and do such a complicated procedure as a primary procedure and i am sure the kavita will change to much more simpler much more beautiful care <laughs> than having all the jewelries simple surgery simple very useful outcomes there is not much of a complications i think i would look at going in for the primary trap than for the tubes thank you so much